All right. Hello, everybody. It's me, the Invisible Gunslinger. And today, oh my god, today, I'm finally back. I've come back from the dead, dare I say. Let's start off, let's start this project off with a pun. Very good. But hold on one second. Let me just go turn the sound down just a teeny tiny bit. All right, there we go. The sound is now down, and I can finally hear myself think. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I'm gonna die. That's right, because dying is what the zombie apocalypse is about. 99% of the population is gonna die, and the only man left will be this man standing up on the car right here. To me, he looks like... He looks like, uh... Philip J. Fry from Futurama, but he also kind of reminds me of Sean from Shaun of the Dead. Um, but, you know, he doesn't have any red on him yet. Oh, not yet. Of course, these zombies look green, so would it be appropriate to say he's got green on him? And I just have to say this, before I start up this project, which I have not played anything, I have played nothing of this game, I have literally just started it up, start it, it, started it up. God, I can't fucking talk. It's like I've got... Ugh brains in my gums and they are not helping my intelligent speech any mu any further you see I mm. anyway before I begin this project I just have to say that I love pixel art so very much I just love it I think it's the highest form of art that anybody's come up with ever in the history of the entire universe obviously nothing ever comes Nothing is better than two little pixels sitting right next to each other. You can express so much by two little pixels sitting right next to each other. For example, for example, you can tell, look at the zombie's arm that is reaching up to grab our main man on the car's arm, his left arm. You see the zombie who is kind of reaching up. You can see that he has two little, two or three little purple or uh, pink pixels on his arm. That relays the information to, to us that his arm is coming off. This zombie's arm is rotting from the inside from some horrible disease, and yet it still has the animation to move forward, to grab us. And that is all expressed in two or three little tiny pixels. Okay. So, in case you can't tell, I was joking a little bit. I actually do have a very high respect for pixel art. In fact, I just love, I love this picture right here, this tableau of the man stepping up onto the car, escaping the dead. Look at that one guy popping up on the hood. Oh my god, I've talked so long that the music stopped. Oh god. Look at the buildings. There we go, now it's starting back up again. Look at the buildings. Look at them looking down at me menacingly, as if I've done something wrong. How dare you accuse me buildings or rocks or whatever the fuck those are. I don't know. Now, one last thing before we get going on to campaign mode. Um, I do have to thank one of my viewers. His name is Hellboy P. My Pants, which is an appropriate title, I think, for this type of game. He gifted me this game and really wanted me to play it, so I'm playing it primarily for his amusement. But, you know, if anybody else gets amusement out of it, then I'm not going to sue you or ask for money. Because, you know, I do this all pro bono, which means I get the bones from the zombies. And you don't ask what I do with them. I use them to get boners, because, you know, that kind of thing makes me hard. Let's go into campaign mode. Now, in case you're either slow, young, or, you know, a combination of both, which seems to be the majority of the population nowadays, this game is a homage to the game The Oregon Trail. The Ori... <clears throat> this... well, obviously, this is spelled the Oregon, as in, like, your heart and your lungs and all that. But The Oregon Trail was an educational game that helped people learn the trials of what Westerners had to, had to go through when they were traveling the Oregon Trail, going west. You know, the, uh... Oh, what's that American ideology of, like, from shore to shore, uh... Oh, shit, what is that? That exploration, that... that... Uh, oh, I can't remember it. Oh, my God, that is gonna drive me nuts. I know this term. God damn. Manifest Destiny, that was it. That, I'm almost positive that was it. I just had to give myself a second there to think off of the recording. I need to take the pressure off. Okay. So, this game is based on the Oregon Trail, which was the Manifest Destiny from sea to shining sea of American, you know, uh, cowboy -ness. So, and now we are going from sea to shining sea of zombie blood, you know, because zombies have apparently taken over, and I don't know why, but we're going to start off this difficulty. My first time ever playing this, I'm going to start it off on normal because, you know, I'm a pretty normal guy. People look at my pants and say, hey, that's a pretty normal guy right there. So, let's go. All right, what is all this? Click on the enemy and draw a line towards yourself to shoot. Oh, that's a cute zombie. That's actually a really... Oh, Those are like cute alien zombies. I don't want to kill those guys. Look at... Oh, he's reloading. Uh, click on the enemy. Ah. 
Boop, boop. Oh, look at him. He's he's wobbling. He's wobbling. There we Oh, no. That's a couple of them. I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna die. <gasps> a buddy. Go on, buddy. What's this? Oh, I thought he had like a grenade launcher or something. Damn, he's accurate. Look at him. He's been doing this like a pro. What? What's up with him? Well, then, it looks like I just saved your bacon. And you ain't getting none. I don't care how much of my bacon you saved. You ain't getting none, Mr. Gun-toting, Bible-holding, necklace-having, pyro face mask, gray man. You've obviously been bitten by something. I reckon we stand a chance, a better chance out there if we stick together. My name is Clements. I used to be a priest. Not much of though, not much use for those nowadays. What's your name, partner? I thought he called me Princess. Click to type. My name? Just call me Gun. Pleasure's all mine, Gun. Listen, even with the two of us, we won't survive very long. Anyone I trusted died a while back. Do you know anybody that we could count on in a pinch? Uh, yeah, I do actually. Uh, I'm gonna just call P... P-Pants. Gotta capitalize pants. P-Pants, he could help us out. Yeah, the guy who gifted me this game. He's probably pretty good. You know, I assume he knows what he's doing with this game. So P-Pants could help me out. Clements. Um, who else could help me out? Who else? Uh, here's a fun name. Pendergast. Pendergast could help us out. Yeah, he's a good guy. Um, who's another guy that I could count on? Oh, I know. I'm just... J.C. Denton. I can always rely on J.C. Denton in a pinch. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Need to think of another name. Another name. I got P-Pants, Pendergast, J.C. Denton, and... Uh... Heinrich could help us out. Yeah, shut up. I got rid of you. Yes, that's fine by me. Let them all die. There's a good chance if they're uh, still alive, they will be up at the shelter set up in D.C. Why is it always D.C.? Are we going to go meet with the uh, Brotherhood of Steel in D.C.? What's going on with them? If they have any sense, that is. Uh, we're going to need a way to get around. I saw an old station wagon a few blocks back. Those things might not be very reliable, but you'd be surprised how roomy they are. Anyway, let's get moving. Actually, don't most station wagons have like this cool backwards seat in the back so that you can look backwards, you know... I actually, I've, I've ridden in station wagons like that, and having a backwards seat like that is cool as shit. I loved station, uh, station wagons when I was a kid. Let's go. I don't know what we're doing. Somebody's gonna die, and it's not gonna be me. Use WASD or arrow keys to move. Let's go with WASD. Oh, look at me. I'm cute. I'm adorable. I'm adorable. Oh, look at the, look at the gun, gun holes, bullet holes. Yeah. Oh, station wagon. That is a nice station wagon. That is a huge ass station wagon. Look at that thing. I like how I hold my gun. Wee spin. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, it's a zombie apocalypse. I can spin whenever the fuck I want to spin. All right, I think we've got. Or sorry, let me do my Clements voice. All right, I think we've got it. Just enough fuel to get, and food for us to make it to DC. And this baby, let's hit the road. I'll drive. You drive. It looks like your foot is made of iron, sir. Nah, you're not driving my car. Gun, station wagon, Clements. Do we get to move? Ah, uh, it moves for us. Look at that sun! Look at that midnight sun. Oh, Clements now has a broken arm. How the fuck did you do that? You were just driving along. Oh, I've got a broken arm. What the fuck? How did he How did he get a broken arm by driving in a car? Did I, like, punch him a little too hard? Are we playing, like, some kind of game in the car? Like, oh, let's call out the license plate that... The license plate that we see. Oh, wait, there aren't any fucking cars on the road because there's zombies everywhere. Punch. Did I just break his arm? Does he have, like, brittle bone disease or something? What's going on? Way to go, Clements. Maybe you're thumping that Bible too much, huh? Breaking your arm. Oh, now he has dysentery. Dysentery? That is from the original Oregon Trail. I still don't know what it means. Let's go. I, should probably, I probably should have looked that up. Let's go. Is that DC? Oh, Clements, you can do it. We're right there. Clements was bitten by a zombie. It's just not your day, is it? Oh, look, he's got like a little zombie. That is a cute-ass zombie skull by his, fa by his name. Face? I don't want to see his face. I don't want to look in his face because I'm going to have to shoot him now, aren't I? Or like break his other arm and his leg so that he's just like a torso zombie. That's one hell of a zombie. I bet torso zombie. Look at look at the state capital. Look at our nation's capital. It is smaller than a station wagon. I know it's in the distance, but still. Maybe that's maybe it's a symbol for American capitalism. Our station wagon is bigger than the nation's capital. Yes, this game is talking to me. You are out of fuel. This just ain't my day. Typical. Washington, D.C. 
click anywhere to continue. Look at that guy's face. Look at his look at his mouth. It's just kind of like an up and down, up and down. Is that a dog? Is that a zombie hanging out of the window? Is that a bus? Is that a double-decker bus? Is that a DeLorean over there? What is this? What's all the crap on the ground? Is that glass? Huh? How thin is that lady's waist? Look at her waist. Her dress just like kind of goes up into nothing. My god. Let's go. Just as the station wagon runs out of fuel, you coast into the city. You can hear a nearby radio blaring in a nearby window. Oh, it's Silent Hill. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Have you seen a little girl? No. <laughs> Repeat, all survivors who are still who still remain in the Washington, D.C. Uh, the government has declared a Class 3 biohazard. Are there any other higher classes than 3? Have you come up with a higher class than this? Why don't you just say it's a shitstorm? We're all gonna die. Biohazard in the area. They will, uh, be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out of the city while you can. The city is lost. The city ain't lost. It's just got some zombies in it. You know where the city is. It is in the middle of Zombie USA. Come on. Don't nuke it. Come on. Let's, let's try to cross-breed with a zombie. If you have sex with a zombie and the zombie gives birth, assuming that you're a man-man and it's a female zombie, and considering, you know, hopefully the woman wouldn't have her guts ripped out like that one female zombie did, if that female zombie carried to term a baby, would it technically, would it be a zombie baby or would it be a normal baby? Huh? It is technically getting 23 chromosomes from me and 23 zombie chromosomes from the mother. So what is going on here? Is it a zombie baby? Is it not? Is it zombie baby from the bottom, from the waist down? That's not going to be very attractive. Nobody's going to want to mate with that. It's kind of like the mermaid situation. Would you rather have a mermaid top or a mermaid bottom? You know, where it's like a fish on the top or a fish on the bottom. What's going on? Oh yeah, Clement. Your arm doesn't look that broken. Maybe if you put down that fucking Bible one of these times. Looks like it, uh, we have time for a... Looks like we have time for a problem. There's always time for a problem. I can make time. I'll go look for your friends at the shelter. Meanwhile, you should go scavenging for supplies. I've heard about a place on the west coast that is supposed to be a safe haven from all of this chaos. Let's meet back here and head out. Here, take my journal. I've written down everything that I need to know about surviving on the road. It should help you decide uh, what you think we may need on the trip. By the way, sorry if I'm talking a little bit loud, guys. But the game sound is actually a little bit louder for me than what you guys hear. <clears throat> Pretty nice guy. Give me his journal. Pick the supplies you want to gather. Hours remaining 12. Oh, goody.